So I've got a demo app running that I want to use to show you what child processes are like. Um, and we'll look at what my child process is first of all. So this is my um, child process. It's a very simple script. It's an artisan command which runs all of the time, but it sleeps for 100 milliseconds, right? So every 100 milliseconds, it's going to try and do some of these things. Hopefully a reasonable example of a kind of application that you might be running that will be giving you output at intervals, you know, random intervals maybe. It might have errors, it might crash, um, and it can handle input. Okay, so process isn't running right now. I'm just going to start it. Oh, it exited quite quickly. All right, let's start it again. Yep, there we go. The clock is just outputting every five seconds. Of course, it could randomly error and exit, and you can see uh, what happens there. It's nice, we get the error event. It tells us what happened, what the status was. We can do something about it in our Laravel application. Um, this is all live wire, but I'm not doing polling here. This is event hooks here. So I'm just listening for these specific native events, um, these child process events. So it either spawned, or exited, I received a message or I received an error. And I'm just writing it out to this log variable, which I'm printing to the screen. Um, so there's no polling, which is cool. And in fact, because this process is still ongoing, I can refresh this screen and it maintains the connection when the events are still coming through to our application, which is cool. Okay, let's try something else. I can restart this process. I need to just type the name in again. So we'll restart main. Okay, it exited and then it started again. Let's get some information about it. So we get some, we can get some details about how this was set up. If I try and get details of all the processes, there aren't any. So let's start a few. The child processes functionality will try to um, keep processes unique. So. You can only reference one process by that alias. So I actually just want a couple more at random. They're running the same command, but we should now see output from all three of them coming in. And maybe one of them will crash at some point as well, randomly, or maybe not, you know, who knows. Um, cool, so let's have a look at all of those processes now. And we can see they're basically the same. Oh, one of them's crashed. So we've got two now. So instead of one, two, three, I should have two, let's just do one, two, great. Um, and I can send them messages. So we need that alias, which is gonna be tricky for me to get from here. So so let's get the one that hasn't exited yet. Hopefully it hasn't exited yet. Ooh, quickly, chances are high. Um, let's just say test. Can't think of anything better. And we'll send that message received. Yay, we can send that multiple times. Um, that's fun. So, okay, we can send messages. Uh, we can get process information. We can refresh and all of that works really nicely. Cool, okay, so let's, what else have we got? Let's start a persistent process. So this one I'm gonna start again, but persistently. What does this mean? What we've built here is a way for a process to kind of recover itself. So it will capture all of the settings that you um, set when you run the command. It could be anything. It doesn't need to run an artisan command. It can be any process that you've got, any executable. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm saying this time, I want it to be persistent. What that means is when it crashes, it should try and start up again with the same settings. So it will remember the settings and it will reboot the process essentially for us. So we don't have to think about manually restarting it when it fails. Kind of like supervisor running on your server to keep a process running. It will just sit there waiting for the process to exit and then it'll spin it up again. Easy enough. So this is quite cool, I think. We're not gonna see it actually crash, so I'm gonna intentionally stop it. Let's clear this. Um, so let's stop it. We can see it stopped, but then it restarted again. And I didn't hit restart, <laughs> let's just do it again. I'm hitting stop, which is not a restart, right? Stop just stops. I'm waiting here now to see if it's gonna crash naturally, but. This one's just a really lucky one. Oh, if only I was so lucky. Oh, it did. And it restarted automatically. Perfect. There it is. Thanks for watching. See you soon.